Gaming Division. Hey, from the future, before you, we get into any of the unboxing for this game, there's a very important PSA. If you have purchased Thunderstorm Heart of Doom, especially if you purchase this for a gift for someone else, there are components that are missing from production. Uh, in theory, none of the in-production uh, stuff ever had this randomizer deck. It uh, has the mag magma hammer on the front, the random village card, um, and there's this little thing on the front, not for sale, again, for us to be provided with each copy of Thunderstone, Heart of Doom. Uh, this is kind of an important piece to be able to play the game or use the components. Um, if your store that you buy it from does not know what this is, then uh, contact customer support at alderac.com uh, or look up the, the website for this and find it if that's incorrect uh, when you watch this video. Um, that's what I had to do. I had to get them to mail me a, uh, a replacement pack. And um, apparently this is the same pack they give out to retailers. Um, I don't know why my store didn't have it, but hey, it's a thing. So let's get on to the actual video. Hey there, welcome to Gaming Division. I'm Cam Ryan, and today we're in a very quiet, undisclosed place. Yay, mysteries. Today we're going to be unboxing Thunderstone. What is this? This is one of the th expansions. Heart of Doom in very nondescript wordage. I don't know what to do about that. It's just how the box came. So let's grab this. Get it open. Neither have nails or a knife anymore, and the car keys I have are electronic. They are just taking ways to cut yourself out of everyday life. Ah, oh, progress. Oh. Every dentist will tell you not to do that, and every dentist is probably right. Like a Christmas present. Because it's a Christmas. And you'll, never, you'll hear the sound there. These boxes. Yeah, trash. Are made of pretty good quality cardboard. So it's real distinct when you uh, rub up against it like that. So we got our fancy little mic. It's about as light as the original was. Um, it's only one, two, three, four pages front and back. If I'm right, it's a lot like uh, the uh, other extension I have, um, Thornwood, I think. Of course, we got the inside of the box. It's got all this nice foam. I, I really like this foam. I just wish it was more useful because as you get more and more stuff. The, the stuff takes up more room than the foam does. Well, obviously, you can't fit it all in there. So let's go ahead and pull some of these card packs out. Oh, those are the card dividers. I didn't. The other one I bought was used, so I never got to see the saw those. I never got to see those before. Crap. And this is even more fun. Oh, these are okay pleated or whatever the word is where I actually get them. So in theory, trash, trash everywhere. In theory, there should be one of these dividers for every card that comes in the set. And as clever as they are with the art on these, uh, normally it looks like all these except for one, which I'm assuming is a hero class, Harui, um, had the same image on it. But there's uh, quite a few new monsters, it looks like, a bunch of new items, and at least one hero. So let's go ahead and see if we can't figure out what's what here. I don't know where to begin. I don't know how to 
shoes off. <laughs> um, maybe I'll squirt them and show them off a little bit more later. But we got basilisks. We've got undead spiders. Because everyone loves spiders. They're your best friends next to robots. It's the truth. Uh, dryads, which is an interesting choice because dryads are normally depicted as either neutral or good. Uh, doppelgangers, humanoid. Oh. oh, they all have like a falsity theme to them. False sergeant, false chaplain, um, false trainer, things like that. Uh, guardian card, which I think is another random event to start the beginning of the game. We've got these village cards. Um, they don't say anything on them. They're just the randomizer cards, of course. Let's see if I can. There's no way I'm going to be able to tell which one is the contiguous pack to that. is a great game, but anytime you're unboxing things, you end up with a pile of trash. Uh, so Soul Fire, uh, Spell Attack, Magic Plus One, Gain Magic Plus One for each XP discarded. So they've got um, a trashing mechanic for your XP, which isn't in your deck, which I, which I don't like then. Uh, but I guess after a certain point, because it is cost six, um, it's going to be a thing you want to get rid of. Um, magma Hammer, plus one attack, plus one magic. Sorcerer's Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. So there's a bunch of jewels, apparently. The Thunderstone for this is the Stone of Faith. I'm going to show that one off for sure. Um, discard Dungeon, discard this card. Each other player discards one card. I have a feeling like none of the other Thunderstones are going to be any good. <laughs> Uh, another couple guardian cards. Um, Mourn, Mourn, Mourn Water Witch. <laughs> Call Heroes cost uh, additional two gold. Um, guardian Thunderstone, Heart of Doom. Which is the name of the expansion? Yes, yes. Um, Thunderstone gains plus magic attack plus six. If this card is not defeated, the player loses. Well, that's an interesting thing. So you boost yourself and then have to lose the battle in order to win the war. Okay. Huh. Militia game plus two, Lumbering Trog. Oh, these are uh, more bad guys. Very odd how they break these up. Uh, so lizard folk are cool. Got a bunch of di different loot these. Uh, abyssal dark spawns. Uh, let's see, let's see. Basilisks. Oh, I actually found them. Some more basilisks. Try to keep things organized. It's not going to happen. Sorry, the village cut purse, which is a thief class, dark animator, which is a wizard class, uh, cannon devotee, which I would assume means like, oh, cannon, not cannon like a ballistic, uh, plus one magic attack, um, going to the village or a dungeon, destroy one disease. So she's almost like a healer. Interesting. Uh, Nith Bowman. I'm assuming a Nith is a type of elf. Sounds like an elfy thing to say. Plus one attack, plus one light. Oh, plus one light if bow equipped, plus one per uh, attack per rank of the target. So he gets bonuses for shooting farther, which actually makes a lot of sense if you know anything about the physics of 
how bows are fired. It takes so much strength to shoot an arrow so far that the momentum uh, makes it super deadly at long, longer ranges than it's short, which you may not think makes sense, but it really does the way it fires because it fires in an arc and not directly. So short range, you fire directly, and of course more power is going to be a stronger hit, but over long distances you actually get a stronger hit by shooting up and arcing. If nothing else, at least a stronger hit at a longer distance. Here's your educational moment. Um, Isri Thrower. Attack plus two. Um, dungeon destroy, reveal item or weapon to gain. Plus one attack. So, okay, so more of the throwaway things. Mentality. I don't know if I enjoy that or not. I really don't. Um, I'm, I know I'm not showing off these cards. I'll try to show off a couple um, on the camera in a minute. But um, it's yeah, there's no way with the setup I've got right here I can do this and guarantee you that it's going to be clear. More trash, more trash, more trash, more trash. Ooh. Mercenary. Um, so there's a pack of mercenaries, essentially. Old heroes. Um, Belzar's Blessing. Draw two cards. Each player draws one card. Each other player draws one card. Um, bag of Holding. Village or Dungeon. Destroy one other. Reveal item or weapon to draw two cards. That's not really what Bag of Holding does. Swamp Provisions, one hero gains strength plus three. Dungeon Strength Provision gives one hero attack plus three. Each player gains one disease. Um, so yes, don't bring provisions in the swamp. Dredging Net, draw three cards from the bottom of your deck, destroy one card. Discard one, destroy one, and place one in your hand. Ugh, ugh, so much destruction in this. Um, of course, uh, there's a bow here, plus four, against monsters ranked two or higher. Oh, and if you go into the dungeon, you can swap the positions of monsters. That's actually really good for manipulation. And back to soul fire, so we'll go ahead and put that on the end. And on to the last pack. <coughs> Highland Soldier, another thief. Uh, attack plus two at the base, which is really nice. Um, blue fire student, another wizard, plus one magic. When you go to the dungeon, just gain the XP. That's actually really strong. Because you can just keep him around uh, milling it. Oh, and as he advances, he actually gets more XP. Wow. And the final guy lets you uh, level heroes um, when you go to the dungeon. Which is interesting. Um, Shulk Hunter. It's a cleric class. Magic plus two. Ignore light penalties against undead in rank two and higher. So I guess he glows when there's undead nearby. Um, okay. Uh, there's a mace and a spear. They do damage. <laughs> There's not much to say about that. I'm going to try to display these out real quick, and I'm going to review the rules. So I'll come back after a cut, and uh, we'll finish up here. As far as this rulebook goes, there is one page of fluff, and there's one Q&A, FAQ section, or 
clarifying some cards. Um, that's fluff. That's fluff. That's credits. And that's card list. That's your cover. Uh, they did not waste paper <laughs> making this game. If anything, they took the paper that they would have put into the book, and they put it on doing dividers and making it nice and organized and enjoyable. So let me go ahead and sort this out uh, in a manner that we can show you some of the cards. And Okay, what I have on screen now is the items. All the way to here, and then these are the new monsters that you get in the Thunderstone down in the corner. If you want a closer look, you're going to have to go online and look for independent sources. I can't physically do this today. I'm sorry. If you want to see anything else we're up to, go to click the annotations and they'll take you to our other channels. Thanks for watching.